Hey Bikes, I'm Allie and this is your Monday Report. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. If you are interested in working in the Writing Center next year, applications can be found on their website. The deadline is May 15th. There will be a meeting tonight at 6 in the library for all those who are interested in going to Washington, D.C. with close-up. Contact Ms. Yoder or Mr. Cromie for more information. Students enrolled in driver's ed. There is a mandatory meeting on Wednesday during seminar. This will start at 10.15. The North Nook will be open for the last time this year on Wednesday during all lunches. SCCLA is hosting a fundraiser to get students to nationals. They will be selling burritos starting today for either $2 a burrito or $20 a dozen. Contact Ms. Jones to order. Now over to Josh with the weather. Happy Monday too. We are tracking an active weather pattern that will bring us rain three days in a row last night 37 hundredths of an inch and a flash flood watch is in effect until late wednesday night we're expecting two to four additional inches of rain and some of that will come tonight so let's take a look at the severe weather outlook a slight risk is in effect for all of northeast kansas timing out for you with our future radar. You can see by three o'clock, we do expect most spots will be staying dry, just a few isolated sprinkles, if anything. But by seven, notice these isolated supercells. These could pose a risk for some significant severe weather. So be on the lookout later this afternoon and evening. And then by the time we get to midnight, more widespread heavy rainfall. Some of these could still pack quite a punch. But the good news is that right now, the indication is that it should be a dry commute to school for your Tuesday. In terms of severe weather hazards for today, we're looking at a low risk of a tornado, but it is there with any isolated supercell early on. Wind, hail, and flooding are all a two out of five for later this evening. We'll have to watch out for that potential. Then moving into tomorrow, the severe risk should stay south of Interstate 70 for the most part. However, this is highly conditional and could change on a day-by-day -day basis as these storms develop. You can, so you can see the more intense thunderstorms tomorrow at 1 o'clock are going to be south of Interstate 70 with some rain around our neck of the woods. Now, Wednesday is even more uncertain. Again, we get more uncertain the further out we go, but there is a slight to marginal risk for severe weather, so we'll have to fine-tune that forecast for you in the coming days. And check out the seven day forecast. You can see that it's a stormy next few days, but it will not be raining all the time. Then Thursday looking very cool with 56 degrees. It will be breezy as well, but we do rebound back into the upper 60s for the upcoming weekend. Allie, back to you. That's all we have for today, Vikes. Tomorrow we'll have a story on First Friday. Have a great rest of your day.